Tracy, congratulations on your Canadian Screen Awards for Best Motion Picture and First Feature Film. Thank you. <laughs> um, I understand this film is biographical in nature because you were actually a child at OCA during the crisis. How closely does Beans reflect what you went through? So, yes, I was 12 years old during the OCA crisis. Um, the, 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 the film is definitely fictionalized, as it says, inspired by, um, but her, the coming of age story of Beans is very much drawn from my coming of age and everything I experienced. In terms of some of the, the scenes, the historical scenes that, that Beans finds herself in, some of them I was actually at, and those scenes are written directly from memory, and other scenes I was not personally at, but these these scenes did happen and I placed my character there so that so that the audience could experience some of these bigger, very ugly moments that happened during the Oka crisis. Gawandio, did I get your name right? Gawandio. Gawandio. You were absolutely perfect as Beans. When you first read the script, what was your reaction to your character? How did you picture her? Um, I never got my question before. <laughs> Well, I, th I think I did see her similar as me because actually at the time I was still in middle school and I had gone to a full Mohawk immersion middle school. Um, and I think this was cut, but in the movie, uh, that's the same as Beans. Um, and she transfers to a like uh, a high school in the city and that's what I was going to do. So I thought that that was super similar and she wants to be an artist and I wanted to be an artist so when I first read the script I think I just tried to pick out like the similarities um and like kind of just thought about and sat with that if that makes sense <laughs> yeah and Tracy how did you come to cast go Wandio I met, I met Gail and Dio uh, first on Anne with an E. I was on the third season and she was cast uh, in that show. So I first met her through that casting process. And then after Anne with an E, I was able to move on to this movie and I asked her to audition. Um, so she auditioned amongst girls from across the country. Um, we had an open casting call. We ended up shortlisting that to five people for the role and we brought everyone to Toronto. We did an acting workshop where they learned more about acting and I was able to watch them interact and see what kind of vulnerability they were willing to show in that short amount of time. Um, the, the, I, I, I've, I've, I've been fixated on Gowan Dio since Anne with an E and I really did think that she may be my beans, but the project of Beans was much more robust than Anne with an E. The, the character was very different and what she has to go through was it's a lot. So I wasn't quite sure if, if she or her parents would be willing to go down that road. So, um, you know, she was a part of the bigger casting process. And then through multiple conversations with her, with her parents, talking about scenes, how I would shoot scenes, um, you know, they, they came on board and Gowan Dio was, was 100%. She, she told me numerous times that, like, she was ready for this. She wanted to do this. Uh, and so that's, that's, it's history now. That's how it all began. Now, Gowan Dio, I love the song that plays over the credits. Mm. And I understand you wrote it and you performed it beautifully. I can't believe how talented you are both as an actor and a musician. Now, I'm wondering, did you write that specifically for Beans? Because it really reflects the experience that she goes through in the film. Yes, actually, I wrote that song specifically about the character in the movie. Um, I started writing it maybe a month into filming. And I had told myself, like, I just want to try to finish this. Like, this could be good. This could be something. And hopefully by the end, I'll have something. And surely enough, a week before wrap, I had it finished. And uh, I told Tracy about it. And I brought it just to set one day. Um, and she listened to it. And she liked it. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's, let's be honest. I was bawling <laughs> listening to it. We were in the middle of changing scenes and sets. And we were tuddled together in Video Village and put it in closed my eyes and just started crying. You know, I just think 
it's it's a survivor's anthem. It's just so strong and it just really spoke to me in terms of the character. But again, the character is based on what I lived through. So yeah, it was, just, it's so beautiful. And what are you both working on next? Tracy, do you have an idea for another film or have you already started working on one? So there's another feature that I have been writing over years, just like it, it took Beans years to, to, to be what it is. Um, there's another feature that I've, I'm almost finished. Um, I'm also developing some new TV work. It's a little too early to give more than that, but I'm busy with some very exciting new projects. Thank you, Andio. I know you've worked on something be um, after Beans. Can you tell me about that? Um, I worked on Rutherford Falls, which is now out on Peacock. Um, and, in ca and in Canada, let me add, in Canada, it's on Showcase, so people can see it there. Okay, okay cool. Um, yeah, it's a comedy, um, which is new for me because I'm only good. I've only been in traumatic things, but <laughs> um, yeah, it was definitely a new thing that I haven't done before. But I loved filming it, and uh, I met so many cool people. And um, yeah, go go watch it. <laughs> and finally, where can people see Beans? Because this needs to be seen. This is a fantastic film. Thank you. So the release is planned for Quebec on July 2nd. Uh, right now, because of the state of the pandemic in the rest of Canada, the release is tentatively planned for August, but we don't have a specific date. Eventually, it will be on Crave and CBC. And I did recently see that you can pre-order it on iTunes at the moment. So those are your options right now. Sounds great. That's fantastic. And I want to thank you both so much for chatting with me today. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Take care. Bye.